Hey everyone, welcome to Simply Learn's YouTube channel. In this session, we will be learning how to create pivot charts in Excel. But before we begin, let me tell you guys that we have daily updates on multiple technologies. So, if you're a tech geek in a continuous hunt for latest technological trends, then consider getting subscribed to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit that bell icon to never miss an update from Simply Learn. Now, without further ado, let's get started with our one point agenda that is pivot charts in Excel. So how to create a pivot chart you ask? It is really simple. All you need to do is just follow a few steps and you have your pivot chart ready, which is completely interactive. Now all you have to do is select any cell in the data set you have and rush into the insert toolbar. Then in the group of charts, you have an option called pivot chart. Select on it. Now you'll be asked to select the data range and you can see Excel has automatically select all the range that you want to include in your pivot chart. Then you have another option which is asking you to either create the pivot chart in the current worksheet or a new worksheet. For now, let's select a new worksheet. And there you go. Voila, the pivot chart is completely ready. You might ask me, this is completely empty. Yes, the default pivot chart what you get from excel will be completely empty but you can add the legends and all the data that you want to add onto your pivot chart just by dragging and dropping the data from the right hand side of your excel sheet that is from the pivot chart fields so you can see we have various options region category state subcategory sales quantity etc now i'll add region i'll add region to access and Comparatively, we will see the sales that are happening in those particular regions by dragging sales into values. Now, you have all the data in the form of pivot chart, which is completely interactive, which represents the sales happening in those regions. Now, you can also select a particular region, right? By default, all the regions are selected, but if you want to select only central, then you can do that by deselecting everything and select only central and select OK. And there you go. You have all the data related to the sales happening in the central region. Now, if you want to, you know, kind of see all the uh, categories of sales happening in all the regions, you can drag the category into values again. And uh, in the region part, okay, I think we have to add category into legends. Yes. Now, select uh, regions, that, that is all regions, and select OK. And you can see the category wise sales in all the regions at one single go and i hope you did not observe it clearly uh the excel also gives you the completely prepared pivot table as well right which is also interactive you can also get to choose the data from here as well and select ok and you'll see that being reflected on the pivot chart so here you can see both pivot table and pivot charts are completely interactive now that's how you create pivot charts and pivot tables in Excel. If you have any queries regarding any of the topics covered in this session, or if you need the data set that we have used in this session, then please feel free to let us know in the comment section below and our team of experts will be more than happy to resolve all your queries at the earliest. Now until next time, thank you, stay safe and keep learning. Hi there, if you like this video, subscribe to the Simply Learn YouTube channel and click here to watch similar videos. To nerd up and get certified, click here.